Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is talking about how to use GitHub as our backend API to fetch data to our iOS application. So, how you enjoy it? Okay, let's get start to build together. And the first thing you need to do is go into github.com as you can see and sign in with your account and after that okay now we are going to create a gist file as you can see click new gist and wait a little bit and you will see this screen so uh and right here we need to input description description file right here and okay right here i want to put a uh, uh, list box api so here is file name i can say data.json and here is my data and i need to create please make sure you create public just file Okay, now we already created this file. As you can see, here is our data. And what we need to do next is we need the raw data. So you click on the raw button and you will see data. As you can see, this is what data we need to use in our application. So you just copy the URL and go back to here is my application that we just created in the previous video about how to fetch data from api so you can check our video as you can see right here we put the url so you paste our url in display and run to see the result Okay, be a success. And now you will see. Okay, as you can see, this is three a book because we have three element on our API GitHub. Okay, let's go back to update our file to insert a new record. Just click edit and now I want to input another element I copy and paste like this okay I need to rename it the ID to 4 and update this to 2 and I want to put um, switch UI box Okay, then I need to update the public just file. So let's get back to our application and let's run again. Okay, you don't see any update. This is the problem. Okay, let's try to uninstall it and run it again to make sure it's not work. Okay, as you can see, this is not work. It's still all data. What the problem is? The problem is the link. 
every time you update your data your link will be generate the new link so you cannot use the old link so let's get a new link by click on draw data and we copy the new link and put back to our project okay let's go back let it place this string okay let's run to see together okay as you can see our new data is here so this is the problem when we use just file so every time we create the new or update the file the new link will create so what you need to do is going to create a new repository we don't need just file if you need to update the file so let's get back to github.com and click create new repository and put the name as you can see i can say my book list data okay make sure you click on public and click create repository okay click setting and go up to the page so you need to choose a team so okay and here we can select any team that you want to your side okay it's not the problem we just select another one okay look right the same I like it so it should be okay use this team so select same and right here is just a uh, page that we can edit something but uh, I don't need to edit anything just uh, leave a message on the commit okay so here is the message just put on a commit so commit chain and now we have uh, our page so go to page you will see the url the public url that you can access to our site as you can see this is the default data so what you need to do is create or upload our json data so i already have json data with sample uh, json in that file so i want to upload that file into that repository just drag and drop to right here and uh, you can uh, put the commit message okay and click it and wait a little bit okay i'm well done and you can open it you will see the data in our json data so how to access this file so because we need to access this file to retrieve our json data So what you need to do
Wait a minute though, let's go to city and go back to page and click our link and revisit our page and you can put data down JSON right here and this is this is our data JSON file that you can access into our application so you just copy it and go back to our project and replace this URL right here okay now we're going to build and run again to see the result okay as you can see our data is coming so let's update the file to make sure it works with the same url so go back to data.json and you click edit file so i need to put another element in my json file okay i can say swiss ui design book okay let commit cell okay now we have four elements let's go back to our project to run to see the result Okay, as you can see, this is our old data, but uh, we need to delete to clear the old data. So let's uh, okay. Let's go back to our URL to make sure it's already updated. Just refresh it. Okay, as you can see, we have four elements. So let's get back to run to see the result okay here we go here is our new data we have four elements okay thank you for watching and i hope you like it and if you have any question you can comment below this video so i hope this video is can help you to build your own application with some data from API you don't need to create your own backend API so you can use it for some static data so okay don't forget to subscribe and share this video see you in the next video